Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Wine 4.0 to run Windows applications on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Okay, so what is Wine? Wine allows you to run Windows applications that is .exe files on Linux like Ubuntu etc. If you have installed Wine on Ubuntu, you can install Microsoft Office, Windows Games, Notepad++, Adobe Reader and other Windows programs. Okay, so for installing Wine 4.0 on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, we have you know these five steps. Okay, so we need to follow them. So first of all, let's go to the terminal. So let me minimize this. Okay, so you need to come to the desktop, right click on that and then click on this open terminal. And you can see guys here we have the terminal opened. You can also open this terminal by using another method. So let me close this. Okay. So just press Alt Control T key on the keyboard. I'm pressing that. And here you can see guys we have this terminal opened. Okay. So let's go to the file. And here we have this step 1. We have to enable 32 bit architecture. So uh, just copy this command. And guys, all these commands in video description, you can check it out. Okay. So let me go to the terminal. Let me paste that command. And after that, hit enter key on the keyboard. Just provide your password. Hit enter. Okay. So it's now done. And let's go to the step two. Uh, download and add repository key. So we have these two commands for this. So let me copy the first command. Uh, let me go to the terminal. Let me paste that command and after that hit enter key on the keyboard. So it's now added. And let's go to the step 2 second command we have. Let me copy this command. Let's go to the terminal. Let me paste that command and after that hit enter key on the keyboard. You can see it's now added. You can see the OK message we have. Okay. So let's go to the file and let's go to the step 3. Okay, so we have to add this repository. So let me copy this command. And let's go to the terminal. Let me paste that command. Hit enter key on the keyboard. So it's adding the repository. So it's done and let's go to the step 4. We have to update package lists and install wine, uh, you know, 4.0. So for this we have this command sudo apt update, okay, and the second command to install this. Uh, you know, this command sudo apt update will update the package lists and uh, this command sudo apt install dash dash install dash recommends winehq dash stable will install wine 4.0 okay so let me copy this uh, first command we have sudo apt update and let's go to the terminal let me paste that command and hit enter key on the keyboard so it's done and let's install the wine by using this command let me copy this let's go to the terminal let me paste that command and hit enter key on the keyboard uh, do you want to continue? Just press Y key on the keyboard for yes and hit enter key on the keyboard. Okay guys, so it's installed. Uh, you can you know run this command wine space dash dash version and hit enter you can see we have this wine 4.0 installed okay but uh, we have to configure this wine uh, step 5 we have we have to generate configuration file after installing by running the command below this wine cfg okay so let me copy this command and let's go to the terminal let me clear this okay and let me paste that command wine cfg and after that hit enter key on the keyboard
Here you can see the Wine configuration in Home Ubuntu one two three dash dot Wine. Okay, so it's configuring. You can see Wine Mono installer we have. So just click on this you know install button, and you can see it's downloading. So we need to wait. It's installing Wine Gecko installer. Just, just click on this install button. It's downloading. And you can see, guys, here we have the Wine configuration, this dialog box. First, let this be finished. Now just click on this install button. It's configuring so we need to wait. Okay, so it's now done. And guys, here we have the wine configuration dialog box. Okay, so you can configure various settings like drives, okay, applications, audio okay uh, but the default settings works fine so just click on this close button and it's done so let me uh, close this terminal also and let's install notepad let's see if this wine works fine or not so let me open my web browser and let me do a search for notepad plus plus download and here we have the first link from notepad++.org click on this link and here we have the you know dial uh, sorry this download button click on this and here you can see we have this executable okay this you know uh, exe file so uh, just on this save file and then click on this ok button and you can see over here it's downloading so this is the exe file guys so we will install this by using wine on ubuntu 18.04 lts okay you can see it's now downloaded so let me go to the download folder where i have uh, this file dot exe of notepad plus plus let me go to the downloads okay so you can see here i have this file so in order to install this you need to select it right click on this and uh, you can see we have this open with other application click on it and you can see here we have this wine windows program loader if you don't find over here wine windows program loader you can just click on this view all applications and you can find over here okay and let me select this wine windows program loader and here we have this select button click on it And here we have the installer of Notepad++. So let me minimize this. Okay. So just click on this, you know, OK button. Uh, just click on this next. Just, just click on this I agree. Uh, next button. Let it be default. Next button again. If you want to create shortcut on desktop, just click on this and then click on this install button. You can see it's installing. And if you want to run Notepad++, after you click on this finish button, just leave this checked. So let me click on this finish button. And you can see guys, here we have the Notepad++ installed on Ubuntu 18.04 by using Wine 4.0. Okay. So let me click on this close button. And if I click on this show applications at the bottom left, and if I do a search for Notepad++, you can see here we have the Notepad++ installed. If I click on this, you can see it's opening. It's now opened. Okay. So let me click on this close. And also we have this uh, Notepad++ shortcut on desktop. So if I double click on this, uh, click on this trust and launch. 
and you can see guys we here we have this notepad plus plus opened okay so let me click on this close button so guys in this way you can uh, easily install wine 4.0 to run windows applications on ubuntu 18.04 lts so that's it guys thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye